Hi, so in this video we are going to discuss the properties of conditional probability and here we are assuming one thing, we are assuming S as a sample space, right? So there are total three properties. So the first property is probability of S where F has already occurred is actually equal to probability of F where F has already occurred and both of these are equal to 1, right? It's very simple. S is a sample space. So S is the sample space that we have assumed over here and our set F will actually be a subset or max it can be equal to S. S actually behaves like the universal set, right? So the probability of event S happening where F has already happened will actually be equal to the number of elements in the set S intersection F divided by the number of elements in set F, right? Or it is also written as probability of S intersection F divided by the probability of F, right? And now since F is a subset of S, F intersection S will actually be equal to F. Well, that is why from here number of elements of S intersection F will actually be equal to number of element of F divided by number of elements of set F, right? Or this will be equal to the probability of F divided by the probability of F. And what is this? This is probability of event F happening where F has already happened. And from here, what is its value? It is nothing but equal to 1. Right? So from these three points, we can say that probability of S where F has already happened is actually equal to probability of F where F has already happened and this eventually is equal to 1. Right? So this is what is our first property. It's very simple. 